guys, how's it going? Um, in this video, what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to teach you how to interpret the problem and cr uh, create a solution and how to relate that solution to your pr programming language of choice. Um, to how to have to apply that solution uh, using your programming language of choice. So um, I'm going to go through. I'm, I'm going to create a short series of of, of like videos which. Um, will well in the end we are going to solve our problem and um, yeah so the problem that I'm going to present uh, to you guys today is um, about creating a pizza ordering system um, um, now what this so the problem that we have is that there's this um, there's this pizza restaurant and they need a pizza ordering system now they need to make something like a kiosk so customer comes in um, presses a button and um, well customer comes in he is presented with a list of available pizzas and he presses a button to choose a pizza and that takes the customer to checkout um, and when he presses OK uh, or or choose or place order wherever that that, um, that, that thing is um, the pizza ordering system goes to well, hands over to the chef who also has a screen at, um, in the kitchen, and the screen has got information about what um, pizzas, uh, well, which pizzas have been ordered. And um, the chef takes the order, and the chef uh, cooks the pizza, and then the customer is is kind of like notified that the pizza is ready. Now, it might look to you that the problem is gigantic and we have to deal with networking and and and, and kind of high tech um, um high tech uh, stuff like that we have to deal with um, touch screens and stuff like that but no uh, what we're going to do is we're just, we just going to create a simple um, solution in Java which would sit on one computer and we're going to pretend that this system goes to the chef and stuff like that but um, there will be no chef so don't worry about that. Um, so the key things f that you take that you can take from this problem is um, is well, we need a pizza ordering system. So we need a system. Now, um, if you are using Eclipse, uh, you would normally create um, systems in well as a new project. So let's do that for now. Um, so let me just list things that we need. We need a pizza. Uh, Ordering system project. Oops, pro project. Oops, project. Yep. And we need some classes. Uh, of some packages. Uh, then what else do we need? We need. Okay, that's all we know for now, right? So let's go back to our Eclipse project and let's just create a new project. Oops, new Java project calls because we are going to create this in Java. So I'm just going to call it. Pizza, pizza ordering system. Next, um, yeah, finish. So we have this uh, our small project here that you can expand, and we have an SRC folder in here. We need to create a package. So let's just say um, POS. That's our project uh, package. Sorry. Now we need to create some class files. So okay, now we don't know which class files we need. Um, so first of all, we need interface. So that can be command line interface or graphical interface. Uh, for now, we're just going to create a create a basic command line interface. Well, it won't be command line; it will just be UI. So um, say a UI class. So let's create that. Let's go back to our new Java class dialog box and say UI. And we need a main method because we're going to execute this interface thing. So we have our UI class. Then what do we need in our UI class? Well, UI class should um, display a prompt. Prompt. Um, then the prompt will um, take cust. Well, display. Whoops, sorry. Um, we need to display a list of available pizzas. So list pizzas. Um, then customer selects a pizza, so um, take pizza uh, ID from the customer, 
um, whoops. So example, if um, pizza number one is cheese and tomato, then Castro will say one for pizza number one. So one four. Yep. Um, um, hand over the pizza ID to chef, and then yeah. Uh, so we'll complete this this thing later. What else do we need? Right. So we have been talking about this problem, and one word that comes to our mind again and again is pizza. So what is pizza? Well, pizza consists of ingredients. It has a size, um, which can be either fixed or you can have custom sizes. But we don't want to do that. We just want to keep it fixed. So that um, then pizza has a price. So you say um, you say a pound, two pound, five pound, ten pounds, um, whatever uh, the price is. Um, then pizza. Well, it takes time for you to cook pizza for the chef to cook pizza. So cooking time. So okay, let's just list all of that stuff. So we are going to create a pizza class. Um, so and it, it, so each pizza class is going to have things like um, price, um, cook, cooking time, and of course we forgot main thing name. Uh, I should. I'm not sure if I should be. Um, yeah. Okay. So pizza class has a name, price, and cooking time, and um, it takes time for you to cook a pizza. So there. Um, what else? Well, nothing. That's it. Um, right. So if you have a UI class, we have pizza class. We need chef. Now, who is chef? Um, well, if you think about it, um, the system does not like if you go to the system you order you select a pizza you say place order and it goes to the chef um, now the system does not get stuck up until the chef cooks the pizza the system um, kind of like it makes you go free like it tells you that okay now you're free I've told the chef that he's gonna cook pizza now you can do whatever you want until I tell you that the pizza is ready so the pizza so the pizza ordering system does not um, hold you it it doesn't hold you to um, until you know like um, ha um like hang in there um, we are getting pizza cooked and you see uh, you see the hourglass thingy going on and on and on and it won't allow you to cancel anything it won't allow you to do any interaction with the system until the thing is ready. Now that is really bad if that happens, but we will not let that happen. So, in, 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 in order to do this, we need to look at this thing from Java perspective. Now, if you if you relate the thing that we are trying to do with what's available in Java, then the solution will be pretty clear to you. Now, what we are trying to relate is something that goes away, does the thing, and comes back. Uh, Java has thread which you create so it handles all of the processing stuff away from the existing thread it then come it again dies and comes back to your um, existing thread and then you can do stuff where we want so that's our um, that's our thing that we need we need thread to act as a chef um, yeah, that's what we need exactly. Um, so, um, yeah. Also, we another thing that we need is um, an event management system. Now, what is event management system? Well, events are going around in Java um, all the time when you are dealing with with a graphical user interface. You have click click events. You have mouse over events. We have mouse in events, mouse out events, mouse move events. You have a mouse um, uh, sorry, mouse down event, mouse up event. You have key down, key press, key up, um, key well, key key released. Sorry, cannot key up. Key, uh, yeah. Um, then you have action performed events. You have all all kinds of events going around in Java. So um, uh, we don't. So what we need is we need an event of our own. So we need a custom event. So 
We need a custom event. Yeah, so that goes on the list. Custom event. Oops, yeah. So, yeah, the thread. Okay, so what does the thread do? Uh, okay, so you give the pizza to the thread. So, takes the pizza object, not the ID object, of course. Um, cooks the pizza. Now, the thread doesn't know how to cook a pizza. Let's be realistic. Um, so, it's gonna, it's just going to sleep for um, some time. And it's gonna, and after it, it has, it has completed cooking the pizza, it's gonna go back to the UI class, and well, it's gonna tell the UI class that pizza has been cooked. So, pizza raises an event. Well, it notifies. Whoops. Notifies the UI class when um, it has finished sleeping and in brackets cooking because we are pretending that we are cooking yeah right and the the custom event we uh, uh, will um, like handle that um, like what you call later not now um, right so we need to create the UI class first of all Let's create the UI class. We already have UI.java. Uh, let's create a prompt. So we're going to use the J option pane because um, I don't really like the CLI stuff. So it was going to say string input. Uh, whoops. Uh, for first of all, we need to um, list n uh, list the pizza names that we have available. Uh, for that, we need to create the pizza object uh, class. So I'm just going to call that pizza. And it's not going to have this. So uh, again, let's go back to our notes and see what the pizza class will have. Name, price, and cooking time. So, name is string, so um, name. Price is double, so um, and then cooking time is an integer. Um, Cooking time in seconds. Um, and we're just going to create public pizza class constructor, or we can just cl right click, uh, refactor, whoops, source, generate constructor from fields. There we go, we have got the class constructor ready for us. Um, we're going to have to create. Um, Kind of like what you call getters and setters, so that would be source um, getters and setters. Select all. Okay, there we go. We've got everything ready. Now, if you stop for a moment and if you think back, yeah, and if you look at our notes, uh, you'll see that we already have created our 50% uh, of our software yeah, by by just listing down the things like the the only thing we need to do is implement these things that's that's the only thing that we need so yeah so if you think like this then it's really really helpful is is really going to help you to um um to implement your solution quickly so we have done that um now we need to create the thread chef. Now before we create the, th the thread chef, let's look at how to create the custom event in Java. Um, and uh, since we are kind of like running out of time, we'll do this in our next tutorial. So till then, see ya, bye bye, and have a good one.